Having body image concerns is a relatively common experience and is not a mental health issue or problem in and of itself. However, it can be a risk factor for many mental health problems. If you've suffered from anxiety, depression, shame, or self-consciousness due to your weight or appearance or feeling like somehow you just don't belong, pay attention. This video is absolutely for you. I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks on how to help cope with that and maybe help you understand that you are not alone. Join me now, watch. How often, if ever, do you think about your death? It's a pretty big thing. What do you focus on when, where, and why? As a young person, generally, that's not something a lot of people do. However, that's what I've done because of the circumstances in my life makes you think of what your priorities really are. Why? Where do we spend our time? What are we focused on? I'm trying to heal right now from a lot of different things. PTSD is my condition and trauma. But I've really realized how much value I've put only on external things for myself. And when and where I've realized in this process as I've evaluated because I've been dealing with recovering from food addiction but food addiction because that relates to the worth of my body and I say that in a sense I've had to have a spiritual death of a person that I once was in every possible way to reset boundaries and think about that so I could actually live and repair my health and that can be at different times for different people. So I feel my spirit is a very old woman. I've always been told I was an old soul. But at times I feel like because I've lacked a lot of skills to do other things as I've lost. Childlike as well. Have you ever questioned that? Do you question that? Do you, are you a person who sits and thinks about those types of things? Or has life just kind of passed you by and you know you don't really have to question that um until ironically i would be maybe that and i say this maybe think about yourself in your 80s 90s how different your views would be so that's kind of the metaphors as it's fall right now switching over it's still nice out but if you could have a rebirth in your own body almost look at yourself at your funeral who would be there what would they say and did you live authentically for you I kind of did that and I realized I didn't I almost lived more so I could hear the speeches at that funeral of everybody saying how great Candace was and I realized that's not good enough because that's not living that's like living outside of your body. And I want to live in it. And that's the challenge, being present. Where does your mind go? Future, past, present. How can you be truly present? It's a process. And with trauma, that's hard to do. It's very hard to do. So are you a person who's up for the challenge? Who can actually look in the mirror and evaluate yourself? And call yourself on your own BS I know I have that type of courage I have been that's a process to be human means to be imperfect and make mistakes and be willing to learn from those mistakes fail continuously and grow do you have that type of courage <laughs>